welcome students to your favorite channel pradeep sir classes has psc and today uh, we are going to discuss with a new marital's on moment of force so uh, students i have discussed uh, all the new marital's that is uh, yeah, i can follow and i use also can follow concise physics it is a very very conceptual book and i completed up to 13 and so and today i uh, start with the next new method okay so it is 14 so question number 14 and question number 14 so students question number 14 and you can uh, pause the video and write down the question Okay, so then try. And the diagram in the figure, there is a figure, and I I'll draw this figure. So this is a figure of meter rule. This is a figure of meter rule. Yes, it is. And there is a knife edge at at uh, the middle point. So that there is a knife edge at the middle point and there is a mass of mass of 20 centimeter mass of mass of 250 gram 250 gram force what is gram force so students this is the gravitational limit this is the gravitational gravitational unit gram force kg force all are the gravitational unit and it is only applicable uh, when gravity acts on a particular mass okay so this is gravitational uh, unit and another mass at 40 centimeter uh, 40 centimeter and it is 150 gram force x at that point so this is the numericals and first of all students as i say always uh, do the numericals with a proper concept so first of all uh, there is a pin and if we uh, if uh, we want to take in equilibrium that one and then uh, if I consider there is the uh, this is the knife edge yes it is a fall down so if I want to balance it then uh, what is the condition of uh, why why it is uh, not balanced at the middle portion because due to the uh, cap cap it is uh, the cap is uh, so heavier so when the mass distribution when the mass distribution is same then only we can balance at a particular point okay so uh, this is a meter rule and the mass of this meter rule is given and it is the mass of the meter rule is given and it is 100 gram force okay so it is 100 gram force 100 gram force and the mass is uniformly distributed uh, like this is a mass distribution of non-uniform distributions but if we uh, take a chalk take a chalk then we can uh, see most probably it is uniformly distributed so uh, the center of gravity must be lie if it is a cylinder then at the center of the cylinder that is at that point but if the mass distribution is not same if the mass distribution is not same then the balance point sit at a particular place okay so this is the concept so at that particular moment it is at if it is a meter rule and here this is the starting point zero and the ending point is 100 centimeter since it is a meter rule of mass heavier mass and most of the numerical take that particular meter rule as a lighter object so this is 100 gram 
and is uniformly distributed. So 100 by 100, that is 1 gram force per centimeter. Per centimeter, the contribution of the mass per centimeter is 1 centimeter. So we can say that this is linear mass density and don't go for that uh, um, critical concepts. So as you simply think that at 50 centimeter, there is a fulcrum and this is balanced somehow. It is balanced or not? So the question you uh, written and uh, again repeat the question and so the first one is uh, first one calculate the total anti-clockwise moment. So what is question number A is you have to calculate anti-clockwise moment anti-clockwise moment anti-clockwise moment and the second one is clockwise moment clockwise moment clockwise moment and the next one is and the next one is uh, C the difference of this and this so A minus B or B minus A may be equal to what is uh, so what is the difference between the clockwise and anticlockwise then you have to since it is a uh, moment is a vector quantity so you have to take a vectorial sum that is you have to see which moment is greater uh, this uh, meter rule is turned along this direction or along this direction then according to these facts you can calculate uh, state number C and the next next one is if it is not balanced if the meter rule is not balanced then how can we balance that meter rule uh, suppose uh, the, this is uh, balanced at that point and if we want to balance it at a point at that point then we have to place a particular mass at that direction so that uh, you can see that this is a anti-clockwise direction this rotates anti-clockwise direction so if we want to balance that particular pin then we have to place a mass along this direction that can take it in clockwise direction so when the clockwise moments is equal to the anti-clockwise moment then equilibrium takes place so what is the principle of moments students that is the clockwise moment is equal to the anti-clockwise moment since the clockwise and anti-clockwise moment in that particular question is not equal then you have to calculate the point c that is what is the difference between the moment okay so first question is question number a anti-clockwise moment so these mass can rotate this one along this direction so this is a clockwise rotation that is along the direction of the hands of a clock and this is anti-clockwise direction so you have to calculate that particular moment so what is the definition of moment that is tau equal to f r tau equal to tau equal to force into perpendicular distance so force is 150 gram force and distance is 40 so the anti-clockwise moment is so simple 40 into 150 and the unit is gram force and then centimeter so gram force centimeter so 40 into 1500 so 450 in the 60 and then 00 so 6000 gram force and centimeter what is the clockwise moment what is the clockwise moment so clockwise moment that is this mass and the separation perpendicular distance is 20 centimeter so this is 250 into 20 and this is gram force and centimeter so it is uh, 25 to the 50 and this is 0, 0. so this is gram force centimeter so this is the students this is anti-clockwise and this is clockwise moment and the next one is what is the difference so it is easily this is a uh, 60,000 
and the anti clockwise moment so the resultant moment acts along so but but see this is 6000 minus 5000 minus 5000 and this is 1000 gram force and centimeter you need you have to specify with a particular unit all time okay so the answer is and we can erase that particular one so the answer is Oh, oh. Ah, the meter rule again we have to draw this that particular meter rule. so this is gram force and it is along anti-clockwise direction anti-clockwise direction anti-clockwise direction okay so it is uh, rotate in the anti-clockwise direction so uh, you notice that uh, this is uh, if we placed he, this pin at a particular point, then it rotates in anti-clockwise direction. Anti-clockwise. So you want to take that uniform meter rule in a equilibrium condition. So for equilibrium condition, we have to place a mass, or otherwise we can shift the pin as along the right hand side if we shift the pin along right hand side then this is an equilibrium okay so you have to shift the meter rule so here it is the meter rule and uh, there is a force of 100 gram force why because uh, the weight of the meter rule acts at the center of gravity at the center of gravity so if we shift that particular with a particular distance then the if the fulcrum is here and it is shift at suppose x centimeter x centimeter so now 100 gram force which is previously acted at the center of gravity of the meter rule but it shift at some distance x from the right side okay so uh, this is x and this is 100 and the anti-clockwise in anti-clockwise direction it is x the resultant that is 1000 1000 gram per centimeter and at that moment the clockwise is 100 into x so this is 100 into x and this is uh, 1000 gram force uh, act at a particular distance okay so this is the resultant moment this is the resultant moment but this is the weight and if we multiply it x centimeter, then it is also a moment. So in equilibrium condition, we know that the clockwise moment is equal to the anti-clockwise moment. So 100, 1000 gram force centimeter, this is equal to 100 gram force into x centimeter. So x equal to 1000 by 100. So this is 10 centimeter. So if we shift the meter rule along the direction that is along right hand side of 10 centimeter, then the meter rule is balanced. And this is a, I think uh, it is very conceptual numericals and you can try with your uh, scale, with your uh, 30 centimeter scale. So, if you try with your 30 centimeter scale, then it is balanced at uh, 15 centimeter. 15 centimeter. So, the mass that is the meter rule is 100 gram force acts at 30 centimeter. But if it is suppose you want to balance it at uh, suppose uh, the total uh, length is 30 centimeter, so you have to balance at 15 centimeter. But but if you want to balance it at 10 centimeter try this then you have to put a uh, some uh, like stone or something it may be heavier materials along the uh, smaller length to the smaller length okay so this is the concept when the center of gravity shift at a particular point and the equilibrium is uh, somehow it is uh, difference from the original equilibrium when it is at the center of gravity 
so this is the problem and i think uh, you have clear your concept and this is the uh, these concepts uh, is if you clear that particular 14 number concepts then you can clear 15 and 16 17 and all the questions related with principle of moments so what is principle of moments a uh, force into perpendicular distance and you can do the all the numericals uh, with the apply of this uh, formula okay so soon let's uh, continue your study and uh, you will see and wait for the next class okay thank you